happy birthday, Coach Raj. Good evening, everyone. This is Master Coach A coming in live from Decap Coffee Republic, the home of certified life coaches here in the Philippines. And soon to be global, you're joining us live from the second floor of Pioneer Street Market, also known as PSM. We're located along Reliance Street from the city of Manduluyong, and we're counting on our last 41 days in this place. Okay, so you can still catch us here until October 31, until we move to our new house, to our new home, to our new refuge, okay, to our new hub, okay, we will make the formal announcement of the place and everything once all the contracts and documentations is in place, but to all of you asking what will happen after October 31, good news, okay, to our future lesser, maraming maraming salamat for welcoming us, for being excited, okay, maraming maraming salamat, if you're watching, sir, maraming maraming salamat, sir Louis, for doing a great job, and for really welcoming our family, our tribe, to your place, and we're excited to join you after October 31. So, okay, to all of you uh, who has been our guests, our visitors, okay, our students in one of our classes, until October 31, I invite all of you to visit Dika Coffee Republic to join us in our night com nightly community nights or okay, community events, and let's bring that joyful energy in this place, and live, let's leave this place with a happy memories, with a joyful energy, and really that spirit that celebrates the relationship. Pwede ba yon? Okay, so we will be operating for those of you asking what will be um, uh, happening. Meron pa bang ganito? Uh, we will be operating business as usual until October 31. Diretso po yan. Walang magbabago because we want to honor the place, we want to enjoy the place, and we want to celebrate the relationships that we have been built in this place. Maraming marami pong salamat. Okay, thank you so much and uh, we continue to speak blessing. We continue to pray for uh, PSM, for Pioneer Street Market. And um, as early as now, whoever we're going to be taking this place, whatever um, purpose this place will be in the future, uh, we really invite you to support continuously and make this place still a beautiful place even without our team but definitely you'll see our team very nearby malapit lang po kami dito hindi man lang kayo mahihirapan oo walang maraming sketch okay may nag-message sa akin coach papadala niyo ba kami ng map and everything wala pong map mabilis lang po talaga <laughs> ang layo oo and to those of you asking parang wala bang ginagawa and meron kasi may mga nagpapanik wag po kayo talagang magpanik everything is under control the lord has been very great gracious to us. Within 48 hours, we got the place. Okay? Pero syempre, nag-usap lang. Hi, Coach Ellen. Okay? Medyo inareglo lang natin ng konti. But really, the very reason... Uh, we are not, yung iba daw na nagpadala ng numbers, hindi daw namin nakontak, hindi na daw kami nagparinig or whatever. Kasi po, meron na po talaga kami tinitingnan. And last night, we got there. So, we just honored the transaction. So, thank you so much. Okay? So, this is the first time you're watching me. I am Master Coach A. I'm a certified life coach. I, I help people make a difference by helping you become a professional life coach. I do certification classes in behalf of the Life Coach Training Institute that is based in Dallas, Texas, USA. Yes, the name of the institute is the Life Coach Training Institute. But if you check us right now in website and in and, uh, and also in Facebook, uh, I think what you're seeing is Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneur. So right now, the Life Coach Training Institute is part of the global, uh, a bigger movement that's but still being headed by our no less than our Master Coach Lakendra Smiley. Hi sister, if you're watching, okay. And tomorrow we're jumping, okay, we're diving in and we're birthing new sort, uh, new coaches, okay, with Batch 31 in this place. Batch 31 is coming up next tomorrow, okay, here at Decap Coffee Republic, just in case you are still contemplating for all the students who've been messaging us, who's still fighting for finances, for time, for schedule, yes! Okay, meron pa kayong mga 10 hours, 12 hours to continue to fight and pray. Okay, I'm excited uh, to all my students tomorrow. I'm excited to see you. And for Batch 30, okay, um, thank you so much, Coach Faye. Coach Faye is our taker in Sabuanga Region 9. Uh, it's been a beautiful uh, certification class. We had there Coach Patricia, Coach Mozi, Coach Al, and Coach Jane, who's really working right now and toiling for my immediate return in Sabuanga by October. Maraming maraming. Thank you for doing a great job. Okay, so to all of you who's asking what is life coaching, okay, kasi palagi daw yung naririnig, ano ba yung life coaching? Very simple. Tawagan nyo si Coach Rizel. Ganda na sagot ko. 
0917 Okay. Um, life coaches, we are facilitator of change. Kaya po namin sinasabing change agents kami. We facilitate things. We facili facilitate. I um, know we're not problem solver, but we facilitate a process that will help you really change uh, the way you look at things, the way you handle things, and the way you resolve things. So that's what we do. We are facilitator of change. Kaya po kami change agents. And uh, life coaching um, is... Number two, we are the second fastest growing industry in the world today next to IT. Okay, but I don't really talk about somebody, someone messaged me, Coach, why don't you explain life coaching when you go on live? Because truth of the matter, I've been doing this live even before I became a life coach. Okay? Yung Tuesday and Thursday po na talk, I've been doing this as a service to the community even before I became a life coach. So this is not a promotional talk. I've been doing this because life coaching uh, came in also as part of our heart as Decap Coffee Republic to advance. To advance what? Sanity. To advance love. To advance comfort. To, uh, you know, this place, we built this as a sanctuary to people who are, okay, tired during the week. Okay, pero hindi ibig sabihin yung guest namin mga tired ah. Hindi po yun, okay? So, you, do you know when we built Become Coffee Republic, our heart is really to, to, uh, to provide a place of refuge to people. During the week, you want a place where you can, you know, um, be quiet. Tama ba yun? Face the wall, okay? Uh, you can read books. You can be, you know, have that me moment. This is the reason why we built uh, Become Coffee Republic. And so, every Tuesday and Thursday, from the day that, you know, we came in, I've been doing this. So, yun po yung reason why I barely talk about uh, life coaching when I talk every Tuesday and Thursday. But of course, it, uh, the way I talk, the way I do my sessions, nag, ano na siya, nag develop siya when I became a life coach. But still, I don't want to do this as a promotional talk because my heart to go online every Tuesday and Thursday is to reach out to people and say that, okay, life can be better. Tama ba? Life can be better. Coaching for the soul used to be, this is strengthening Thursday, used to be my Bible study. Used to be, you know, the day I will talk about the books in the Bible and all. But you know what? What I realized is all human beings all across the globe, if you are part of the planet Earth, okay, so hindi ko alam kung may nanonood sa Mars, di ba? Pero if you're part of the planet Earth, I believe each and every one of us, we want that feeling that we belong. We belong, okay? So regardless of your religion, you want that, that you have a feeling, you, you have that, that you belong. So, and I also don't believe that because we're Christians, uh, we're Catholic, we despise other religion. Okay, I will have to say this, okay? Uh, I have high respect to human being. The God I, I, I serve loves human being. Okay? So, wala pong sinabi sa Biblia na kapag hindi ko kasama ang religion, hindi kami pareho ng religion, hindi ko kakausapin. So, I just wanna be straight and I wanna make the declarations and really a public announcement. I'm a Christian. Yes, I am. Uh, hindi po ako, anong tawag sa atin? Hindi kami backslider. Okay? The whole team of Decap Coffee Republic were Christians. We uphold the, the Word of God. We believe in the Bible. Yes. Okay? But I also strongly state I don't think, I don't believe that because we know the Bible, that we have the relationship with the Lord, we despise other religion. No, it's not. And yes, we've got Islam in the house, we've got INC in the house, we've got atheists in the house, we've got Buddhists in the house. And if you have Hinduism, kung ano pa kayo nandyan, you're welcome and I'm looking forward to meet you and have you in class. Okay? Uh, Master Coach Lakendra, our CEO and founder, agree with me on this. We are not just an institution. We are a family. We serve the human race. Beyond religion, beyond culture, beyond colors, and beyond educational attainment. You're all welcome here. So if in case, okay, tomorrow I'd like to welcome, okay, in class, okay, si Paolo, okay? All right. Okay, so even our baristas, even our crew, our members in the house are all life coaches. There's only one member of our team na hindi pa po, and tomorrow he's joining my class, Paolo. Okay, so wala pong ano yan. And I'm telling you this because I want you to understand that at this season in your life, kung nasaan ka man ngayon and you're grasping for breath, you're looking for opportunity to belong. Okay, when I say opportunity to belong, meaning gusto mo talaga ng pagbabago sa buhay mo. Do, do, you, do, you, really, do you really believe na may taong kayang mabuhay mag-isa? Wala. Wala. Wala pong taong nabubuhay mag-isa. And you won't survive long na mag-isa ka. Oh, Coach Mix. Hello, everyone. Dropping 
by celebrating my birth month here in nasa Bacolod. Coach Mix, pang ilang celebration mo na ba yan? Ang dami na. Five ba? Sabi niya fifth kanina. Okay. So, happy birthday September 25. Okay. Hindi namin na-blow yung cake ni Coach Mix para mag-blow kami ng cake on the 25th kahit nasa ang ka pa. So, sayaan natin yung cake. But thank you, Coach Glacy and Coach Orville, diba? You were there? Okay, so Ang ilan mo ng celebration yan Thank you for dropping us uh, by And joining us online, Coach Misay Alright Tonight, we're gonna be talking about social intelligence Okay What is social intelligence? Okay It is the capacity to know oneself So, syempre naman may sarili ka Touch mo muna, oneself Kung Ikaw yon. Okay And know others Yung katabi mo Okay, may katabi tayo. Okay, social scientist Ross Honeywell believes social intelligence is this. Aggregated measure of, oh, medyo magnong split tayo ng konti, self and social awareness. Self and social awareness and evolve social beliefs, attitudes, and the capacity and appetite. O kalain mo, capacity and appetite. To manage complex social change. Ang daming sinabi, no? Ito na lang. Dalian na lang natin. Kung ano anong sinabi. Change, change lang. Okay. Social intelligence can seem to be like a complicated term. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, agree na tayo. Talaga mukha siyang complicated. And can make many of us feel nervous. Okay? For those of you hearing social intelligence for the first time, uh, I've been sharing this to my on-floor guests. Uh, this is actually a full workshop. I usually do this two days um, for those govern um, offices or companies going through conflict management. Because most, uh, more often than not, kapag magulo yung opisina, may hindi pagkakasunduan, ayaw kausap ng empleyado yung boss niya. Most of the time, there is some calibration that needs to be done on social intelligence. Okay, so if you are um, an HR, you are a boss, you are a manager in one of the organizations and you believe that social intelligence is something that you may want to welcome in your organization, please get in touch with Coach Rizel again. Okay, and we are more than willing and excited to bring this to your organization. Okay, um, I'd like also to say that for all your coaching needs like coaching workshops um, um, coaching speakership okay we don't do motivational speakership we do coaching okay um, speakership in interesting uh, let's just congratulate coach Mike Sellis okay for being the youngest tama ba? the youngest speakers of Rotary the oldest Rotary in the country and one of the best in Asia celebrated their 100 years kanina coach Mike is the youngest speaker in the house congratulations coach um, Mike and thank you to coach Sean coach Rizel and coach Candy Ten for being so supportive for those of you looking for motivational speaker and all, we don't do motivational speakership, but we do coaching workshops, we do coaching training, we do coaching classes, okay? And really, the head of that and everything of that is no other than Coach Sean, okay? So... If you need any, you, we also do team building. We also do facilitate yung mga... Uh, team building ang tawag doon, Coach Sean, no? Okay, if you are from... Coach Sean is from contact center. Tama? BPO yung tawag. So, for those of you needing that kind of services, if you... The whole world today, if you just look at it, is transitioning to a coaching culture. Everyone, na, na, walang exemption dyan. I mean, even doctors, um, academe are all transitioning to a coaching culture. So just in case you want to really understand pa, paano ba ini-incorporate into, please get in touch with us. And we are a tribe of 217 certified life coaches, international certified life coaches in the house, and the numbers are still growing. So I believe one one, two, or three of our certified life coaches can really connect with you and there are people in the house na pwede po kayong kausapin and I'm very confident with the leadership of Coach Sean kayang-kaya po namin mag-serve sa inyo in terms of speakership yeah we've got we're, we've got a lot of people Coach Clark is also joining us online hi Coach Clark we miss you Wala pong isang industry, okay, that we cannot serve. And right now, we have over 100, okay, 100 courses that are available, workshops that we can conduct. Just get in touch with us and I believe we can help you mobilize, okay, that change that you want to happen in your workplace. Okay, so, simple lang to, ang social intelligence is something that we deal with every day. Araw-araw, 
Okay, and the more that we understand what is social intelligence, the more that we will have a better experience dealing with our social environment. Now, think about it. How many hours in your life daily do you spend with other people around you? Yung may kausap ka, may tao kang nakita, yung hindi lang yung sarili mo, diba? Diba? Lumabas ka, bumili ka ng pagkain, may nakusap ka. You, can you just imagine... Even if you're not talking to these people, your social environment have countless of people that we cannot even count. Tara? Picture it out. Right now, we're here. We're doing this talk. Maybe you can only count the guests, the people sitting down. But in this place, there are a lot of people downstairs. There are people unseen. Hindi dahil multo sila, okay? Ibig sabihin, hindi lang natin nakikita. Do you get me? So, all of those things, okay, is forming that complicated atmospheric energy na nararamdaman mo. For some of you who are very sensitive, okay, I'm not going mystical, but do you, do you experience at a certain point in that pumupunta ka sa isang lugar, pagpasok mo mabigat? Yes. Come on now. N not going mystical, okay? Do you feel that there are times in your life that pagpasok mo sa isang lugar, parang hindi ko to feel? Parang may mali. I like that. Par ano ba to? Parang maalinsangan. Pero ang lamig naman ng aircon. Come on now. Can you connect? Meron na ba kayong ganong experience? That is all forming of the environment that is affecting your social communication. Okay? So, ano naman ang kinalaman ng social intelligence? Because, if you are aware of your responses, if you are aware of your behaviors, okay, you can learn to be empathic with other people. Okay? You can learn tools for active listening. O oh, coaches, dapat magagaling tayo dyan. We can communicate effectively, interpersonally. If we can recognize various social cues, then we will be able to respond to these atmospheric situations na ayaw mo. And another thing, if only you know your body language. Okay, sino dito? Kabisado mo yung body language mo. Come on. Really? Honestly? Check yourself. Your body language mo, when you get into one social function, one social environment. Ibig sabihin, social environment, may ibang tao na, hindi lang ikaw. Hindi lang yung kwarto mo. Alright? Pag lumabas ka ng kwarto mo, nandun yung kasambahay mo, nandun yung husband mo, nandun yung... Social environment yun. Kahit sinabi mong private, oh, eto, tanungin kita. Honesty, how many of you would tell me, Coach, alam ko, what is my body language conveying? Diba? I'm one person, lagi yung body language ko misinterpreted. Kasi parang galit, nakasimangot, ang tapang, and all. Sino sa inyo yung may ganon? Okay. Sino naman dito yung, akala lang nila sweet ako, pero hindi. Ay, sino yun? Tapos pag pagkausap nila sa'yo, parang sa, 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 saglit, sabi mo yan kasi akala mo lang, sweet ako. Akala mo lang. Di ba may ganon? So, yung, yung whatever various body language we convey, it's affecting really the atmosphere. Okay, wow, I'm Coach Joy, Coach Aga. Powerhouse, okay. So, now, how many of you would connect also that many times you experience limits simply because your brain tells you that there is limitation? How many of you experience the moment when in your mind everybody does it but I couldn't so I'm limited? Ilan yon? Diba? You get into a party, everybody is so chizam. Everybody is connecting. Tapos ikaw parang, Huh? I'm not. So, sino may problema? Ikaw. Okay. John, Eric, Coach Nira is also watching. Hello? Can you connect? So, nasaan yung problema? Have you ever asked? And most of the time, nagtatago tayo sa introvert kasi ako eh. <laughs> Weh, di nga. Can you connect? But you realize there are times kahit gaano ka ka-introvert, pagpasok mo sa isang social function, social place, excited ka. Pero ikaw din yung introvert. Pero pagpasok mo palang, gosh, I belong. 
Alright? So, nasaan yung problema? Asaan ang level ng intelligence to response? Your responses are all forming the holistic, okay? The embodiment of what we call social intelligence. And many of us have not really taken a look at social intelligence. Okay, now. First part, first part, okay, to arrest. Doon tayo agad sa arrest. Because many of you have not really looked into social intelligence. Tama po ba? Doon muna tayo sa arrest. Okay? To arrest this, okay, reverse engineering po tayo. Let's work on what can you do. Okay? Okay ba yun? Para lang ma-arrest natin tong low level of social intelligence natin. I don't mean to be mean, okay, to insult anyone. Okay, don't get me wrong. Because many of us really don't understand what is social intelligence. Now, number one, you've got to work on four things. Okay? But these four things, isang grupo lang yan. Ang kailangan po natin gawin ngayon, ang arrest nito is we need to get feedback. We need to get feedback on our level of social intelligence. May test ba to coach? Hindi, huwag tayo mag-test. Hindi to personality test. Hindi rin to IQ. Work on the feedback. Now, number one. Get one tool. One tool, just one. Okay? That will lead you to self-awareness. One tool lang. Self-awareness. Of how are you dealing, okay, with people outside yourself? Sinabi ko outside yourself, kasi pag multiple yung personality mo at kamarami kang kausap sa loob, so ang sinasabi po natin yung palabas. How are you dealing? Get one tool, okay? So sa coaching, manami tayong toolkits, alright? For those of you na nasa upskill, tingnan nyo yun. Self-awareness about me, self-encounter, okay? How are you responding? If there are people outside you, physically. Hindi lang po yung nasa brain mo ha. Because kanina, when we work on the toolkit, we were working on anxiety, meaning nasa isip mo pa lang, dreadful ka. But I'm looking at and I'm talking about the reality of meron talagang tao. Okay? Get one toolkit that will get one tool that will give you a real deal feedback. Alright? Deal feedback of how are you reacting now when there are people outside you. So, you can start with, how are you really dealing kapag nakita mo na yung family members mo? Gusto mo at ayaw mo. Pag lumabas ka na ng bahay, situations na gusto mo, situations na ayaw mo. Remember, all situations, include lahat po ng situations na ayaw natin, kanina yung ginawa niyo yung toolkit, di ba may situation? Lahat po ng situation dyan, may involved na tao. Tama? You talk about traffic, may involved na tao. Most of the time, akala mo yung traffic, yung kasama mong bumabiyahe doon sa EDSA. Pero talaga, yung nagre-retaliate ka naman sa government. Tama? Hindi ka naman galit doon sa mga barumbado doon, kahit nakakairita to, di ba? Galit ka doon sa government. Galit ka doon sa infrastructure. So, meron kang tao na pinatatamaan, hindi mo lang alam na sila yon. Come on now. So that's what I'm talking about, the great feat, the great tool. So you get to understand that all your communication, all your responses, all your feedback is sending a message to someone out there na hindi ka talaga cautious or hindi ka aware. Am I correct? Are we connecting? Mm -mm. Tama ba? If you're ranting sa traffic, okay, kasi marami sa atin nagra-rant sa traffic, Nagra-run sa MRT. Sino talaga kaaway natin? Sarili natin. <laughs> Kasi late kang bumamon. <laughs> are you getting this? Here's another thing. When you run, when you are ranting about your salary, when you're ranting about the promotion, do you know that you're not really ranting about your direct superior? Who are you ranting? The company. The company who is the very source of your income. The company who is the very source of your benefits. So think about it, what's happening into your brain. Where you receive, where you expect to receive the blessing, yun din yung inaaway mo. So tingin mo anong mangyayari, kapatid? Wala ka talagang blessing. I am, remember, I'm only talking first of the feedback. 
Okay, I'm talking first of how we arrest your social intelligence. So, get one thing, one tool, okay? So, if you're watching, it would really be very beautiful if you get in touch with a coach, visit us, get some toolkit to process and start seeing because most of the most of the time, these things left unresolved, left unknown is causing you anxiety. It is. We, we have a tool, we, 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 we just use it kanina And you realize may mga dreadful situation ka May mga dreadful people sa buhay mo And it has to, it will not happen overnight, okay? So hindi po natin ito mare-resolve overnight But it's important that you get the embodiment of that feedback mechanism So now you start getting aware of your social intelligence level Diba? Kaya diba may mga times bigla ka naiirita Hindi mo ma-explain bakit ka naiirita Agree, disagree Hi, Jan Eric. All our lives, we are socializing conscious. Yes, consciously or not. Ang ganda nung sinabi niya. Totoo yun. We are socializing but we never think of our intelligence level. Basta naiinis lang ako. Basta naiirita ako. Bakit nagkagalit ako? O meron tayong doon. Basta tinutopak ako. Meron bang ganan? May sumpong lang ako. Attituding lang. Okay, now. I'm giving you the permission now not just to accept that because there's a truth behind that. Okay? And that's embodiment that's part of the social intelligence thing that never been taught in school. So, coach, idagdag mo talaga to sa mga tinuturo natin. Okay? Now, another thing that embodies that feedback thing is this, the preparation of self. You talk about self-care, tama? Sino dito yung pamilyar ka sa self-care? Okay. Let me tell you about self-care. Okay? To all the coaches, Coach Kendi, I think you're teaching this, tama? Look at this. Whenever you talk about self-care, and whenever, remember, uh, uh, let me remind you again, I'm coming from a posture of this is a workshop. Okay? So in a workshop, in a coaching workshop, you are tasked to evaluate and take action. Okay? So hindi lang po ito basta to. Okay? Kaya po talagang ang dating dito, meron kang gagawin. Now, remember you have attended, baka nagbasa na po kayo ng libro or whatever about self-care. Sino dito yon? Self-care. Okay? With all due respect to all the writers, to all the participants, yun lahat yan. Um, I, I'm coming from a perspective of a coach. Here's, here's where it is, okay? Whenever you look at self-care, most of the time, you talk of self-care after you have been stretched. Am I correct? Your self-care is what? what? After kang napagod. Am I correct? Intervention. Tama po. After mo nang dumugo. Right? After mo nang walang matiratirang lakas, magsiself-care ako. Oh, self-care. <laughs> After that. Lagyan natin ng kunting lamig doon si Coach Aga. Okay? Bigay natin yung cooler kay Coach Aga para magstay si Coach Aga. You're getting this? Okay, tama po ba? Sa lahat na nagsiself-care. Ang self-care natin lagi is after the fact. After mo nang dumugo. Now, in social intelligence, there is such a thing as we call preparing yourself, which is also self-care. You're getting this? So, you prepare yourself. You take care of yourself bago ka lumabas sa baten. Sabi ni KJ, yes. Kawa mo, coach? Yun, yun. Madalas kasi, tapos na yung laban. Hindi kasi tayo naghahanda. Sugod ng sugod sa gera. Ang totoong self-care, protective, not preservative. Klar lang natin. Kasi marami pong tao, eto naman. Kasi I learned self-care, I am preserving myself. Kumusta talaga? Oo, marami na pong na-disgrasya dahil sa self-preservation na yan. Hear me out on this. This is Coach A talking. Nakakita na po ba kayo ng preserved goods? Nakakita na kayo? Sino dito nakakita na ng preserved goods? Preserved items. Preserved food. Sige, ano itsura? Hindi na siya ganun kasi. 
ฮะอินดี้ชอบเฟรชอันนี้ป่ะอิลาโดอันนี้อิลาโดโคลด์ก็มันก็มัน The moment you preserve, you are altering the natural state. Gusto mo ba talaga ma-alter ang state mo bilang tao? I'm doing this because I'm preserving myself not to be hurt. Hello, walang tao hindi nasaktan. Yung Diyos nga, nasasaktan. Ikaw pa. I mean, think about it. Many times, we declare we want things That's so impossible to happen. And when you expect that to happen and it starts to happen, trust me, ayaw mo siya. Sige, pwedeng sumagot. May kasama po ako para lang po bang wala, pero meron. Bumalakpok nga kayo para alam na lang may kasama. Marami po kami on floor, ha? Tinatamaan lang eh. Tuma- <laughs> Come on now! Sino dito ang guilty ng self-preservation? O, picture mo anong nangyari sa buhay mo, kakapreserve mo. Hindi na nag-move. Hindi na nag-move. Diba pag pin-reserve mo, napanis. Totoo. Preserve din yung buhay mo. Hindi na gumalaw. Hindi ka na nakapag-asawa. Nakapag-asawa na siya. Wala ka pa asawa. Kasi kinuha lang yung number mo. Oh my gosh. Interesting. Hiningi lang yung number. mag inquire lang pala. Sorry, sorry. Tama, wala akong pinatatamaan pero kung tinamaan ka sa Paul, di para sa iyo to. Ayan lang po natin silang konti ah. Oo. Nakuha niyo po ba? Self care. I want you to look at it or to all the coaches who's taking uh this path of wellness, holistic wellness, uh, 180 degrees, 360, whatever you're doing, I'm a wellness coach, okay? Hear me out on this. When you teach healthcare, please do also the pre, the preparation of self. Hindi yung ang ginagawa natin sa self-care, dumugo na, ginamot mo na. Sabi nga ni Coach Sean, nandun na tayo sa intervention. E di ba, ang mental health, Awareness, prevention, prevention, prevention. intervention. O, oh, life coach tayo. So, awareness, awareness din tayo dyan, mga kapatid. Mm. Ay. Maganda po ang sinabi ng ating coach, Candy Teng. Meron daw pong nagsiself-care, hindi kilala yung self. So, sino yung inalagaan mo? My other self. Kaya nga ang sabi natin, hindi siya self-awareness, self-encounter. Because many times, you do this test and all, and you say, I'm aware of myself, and then I say, good luck, know yourself, but the next challenge would be encounter thyself. Yeah. Alam ko talaga masama yung ugali ko, alam ko talaga mayabang ako, alam ko talaga prideful ako, alam ko, o oh, talaga, subukan mo ma-encounter, tingnan ko kung kaya mo. Mas pag na-encounter mo, ayawa na. Kala ko ba, aware ka? Naramdaman niyo po ba merong mga energy yung gumaganyan? Oo. Tama. Are you getting this? Yes. Okay. Feedback pa lang. To. Feedback pa lang to. Meron pa akong sasabing iba. I am working on the immediate arrest of our level of social intelligence. I want you to work on the feedback because if you learn how to arrest now, do the feedback mechanism, this embodiment, this set of tools, then immediately you can kick off and immediately you can find improvements in your social intelligence level. Okay ba to? So, kumokonect na ba tayo? Okay. Next. Positive and negative. Positivity, negativity. Okay. Sino dito ang kailangan ko lang mga positive people? Walang negative, ha? Please. Yung mga negative people, out. Toxic people, out. Sino yan? Come on now. <laughs> Adventure is my self-care. Non-negotiable and non-compromising. Oo, talaga. Coach Mon. Okay, nandiyan si Coach Mon. Mag- magusto ko yan. Magusto ko yung... Yung adventure kasi may na-re-release na kakaiba sa'yo eh. 
di ba? Yung mga hindi mo na rin, hindi mo kilala, medyo lumalabas. Pero bago mo makilalanin yung hindi lumalabas, pwede bang yung lumalabas, nakalabas na kilalanin mo rin? Tama ba? Okay, dali. Positive, negative. Now, have you really ever, really, really, really seriously consider what to you is a negative and a positive? Anong negative at positive sa'yo? Because here's the thing. Some people, if you are in a workplace, some people who are so aggressive, so focused on deliverables, um, highly efficient and effective, negative sa'yo yun. Kasi nacha-challenge ka. Na-stress ka. We're talking about feedback. Come on now. You're saying that you love them. You want it. Intellectually, tama? Sinasabi mo. Pero, test it now. Ano talaga yung pakiramdam mo sa mga highly performing people in the workplace? Di ba, galit na galit ka? Ito na naman ito. Masyadong papapil. Come on now. Are we making sense? Social intelligence yan. Gusto mo siya na ayaw mo. Gusto mo, chill lang yung tao. Pero pag lahat ng kasama mo sa project, chill lang. Ano mangyayari? Frozen yung project. Kasi chill yan, mamaya frozen na yung project mo. Hmm? Meron ka pang ganito. Gusto kitang kaibigan, pero hindi kita gustong katrabaho. Tama ba? Gusto kitang katrabaho, pero wag tayong friends, ha? Trabaho lang to. Walang personalan. Come on now. So now, what signal are you sending to your brain? Gusto mo ba ng efficient na tao o hindi mo gusto ng efficient na tao? So kung hindi mo alam kung anong gusto mo, anong klaseng tao ka? Kasi kung efficient ka, gusto mo katrabaho efficient, tama? Pero naiirita ka dahil efficient siya, tanda daming ginagawa sa trabaho. So hindi ka efficient. Hindi efficient ako! So ano ka talaga? So tangkal, nagtataka ka ba kung bakit ka confused at eventually hindi mo na alam kung anong meron sa buhay mo? Hmm, ang dami po talagang ano dito, nagbibilang na lang kung ano-ano sa langit. Nandito pa ako, huwag kayo itong nangyari dyan. <laughs> ang dami nga nang binilang eh, oo. Oh. If you're watching online and you want to share some thoughts and comments, you can message us at the comment. Coach Raj, our birthday girl is really with you right now, serving you. Okay? Alam ko naman po yung mga question, naka-private message. So, mamaya na tayo mag-uusap. Oh, alam nyo, I love you for doing that. Yung mga medyo mga kakaibang tanong, private message yan eh. So, sige, mamaya magkita tayo online. Okay? Late lang ng konti, a birthday kasi ni Coach Raj. Siyempre, may celebration siya for friends. Four friends, okay? So, positive, negative, I don't want to dive into the de detailing of this, but during workshop, usually we really get into ano ba talaga yung positive at negative sa'yo. I, I, you can do this, okay? Identify mo lang. Ano ba talaga yung sa'yo totoong negative at positive na ugali? Okay. Ayoko na maingay na tao. Alright. So, picture it out. Yung tao nasa loob kasama mo ng 24 hours, 8 hours, 6 hours na hindi nagsasalita. Gusto mo? So ano talaga yung ayaw mo? Ano talaga yung gusto mo? I'm, I'm giving you an example as simple as this. But I know that there are more complex situations in your life that you don't know exactly what is a positive and a negative. Look, I'm saying the positive and negative relative sa sa'yo. Sa'yo. Kasi di ba kapag outgoing kang tao, ayaw mo yung mga taong mahiyain, tahimik. Tama? Kung namang introvert ka, ayaw mo naman yung mga taong loud. So, yung positive-negative po dito, ikaw. Ikaw yung perspective, hindi yung dinikta ng katabi mo. Okay? So, huwag mo tanongin yung katabi mo, positive ba pag maingay? Magkaiba kayo eh. Gaganda po na mukha. You know what you're missing if you're not here is really the interactions with real people. It's beautiful. No? Interactions with real people. 
Akala niyo may interaction kahit tahimik. You learn active listening. Yung wala silang sinasabi pero basang-basa mo talaga ata siya. <laughs> Tumigil ka na. Feedback pa lang yan. O, oh, introduction pa lang. <laughs> Ay, introduction pa lang. Di ba naman ako bumusina, di ba? Oo, sige, hingan na yun ng konti. So, ilan na yung components ng feedback mechanism natin? Okay, what are the three? Okay. Eto na. Number four, which I really want you to, i-dive mo, ng, i-dive mo talaga ng seryoso to. Yung level of casualty or being casual when you deal with people. Have you heard of that term, casual lang? Now, I want you to really look into your level of being casual because it can be very dangerous. Picture nyo to. Sino dito ang napag nakipag-usap ka, gusto mo walang kwenta ang pag-uusap? <laughs> Sino dito yung ako, Ikaw yun coach Sino dito yung lagi mong kasama yung tao sa opisina Pero wala ka talagang kapangapangarap Na lumalim ang relasyon nyo Sakit naman na Now <laughs> Diba? Think about it It is something to do with the level of casualty or being casual in our communication, in our dealings with people. We always say casual talk, casual discussion, casual conversation. Now, do you know that it is sending a negative impulse or message to your brain? Because it says na walang kakwenta-kwenta yung pinag-uusapan mo. Casual lang, dumaan lang. Yeah, it's a casual talk. It will not make a dent. It will not make an impact. Now, let me ask you honestly. Do you really want to be a person of no impact? So can a person who is impactful engage in a casual talk? Steve Jobs, impactful person? Can he engage in a casual talk? Na wala kang naramdaman after mo siya makausap? No. Hear me out. See? You're sending a different signal to your brain. Contradicting again. Kaya ka confused na confused sa buhay mo. Iba yung sinasabi mo, iba yung gusto mo. You want powerful people. You want impactful people, right? You want people who will change the world, change your life. People who will inspire you. People will motivate you. Am I correct? Yes. Can it be done by someone who's very casual when they talk to you? Therefore, why do you engage in casual talk? Therefore, you get also a casual feedback. And a casual feedback will not change you. Therefore, when people who loves you gives you a real feedback, oh, that's wrong. I don't believe that. I hate you. So how will you grow? You want truth. But the truth comes from people who can impact your life. But you want only casual talk. Kaya nga may casual relationship at may casual sex. No offense meant. Because you entertain casual thing, casuality. But you don't want to be treated casually. So why do you engage in casual talk? So you get also casual feedback and so your life never changes. Um, oh, sige, pwede po pala ko sabi ni Coach Orly. Am I making sense? Are you learning? Sumabaw na tayo. So, kaya natin to. Malapit po na tong i-end para makapag-usap tayo, pero ganito lang yan. The first one is to break your state of your level of social intelligence right now. Break it by having this quality feedback. In fact, I think after tonight, you don't, you haven't seen how feedback as powerful as this. Am I correct? So now you know what feedback are you looking at. 
Now, from feedback, which is the embodiment of everything you need to kick off with your social intelligence, next part is this. Work, do an inside work. This is inside work, okay? For you to be open to change. And there are three things that I want you to remember when you talk about change. Be open to change, having the three things in mind. Number one, resolve in yourself that change will benefit you. Immediately, whatever it is. And it's important if you can even determine how the change will benefit you. Remember that by default, whenever we encounter change, our brain retaliates. Anything that is new, ayaw ng brain natin. So you've got to determine how the change can benefit you. Look at the benefits of the change. So now I got the feedback, I'm open to change. So what would be the benefits of changing? Now, number two, speak to your brain and tell your brain, brain, stop assuming that a need for change is always negative. You have this. Whenever somebody tells you there's a need for change, so may mali sa akin, may hindi nag-work. Default. We always assume that the need for change is always negative. Am I correct? Yeah. The very reason why we were able to accept the change in venue, the change of location for DCAP is because we see that the change is going to be beautiful. Yeah, and it is. Been three years in this place and it's time to move. Time to grow. Time to be seen. Time to be exposed. Right? Time to go 24 hours. I think now why would really in, uh, interest you all we're looking at the 24 hours operation so we will keep the city alive for 24 hours i think that's something to me that's something okay so sa lahat, after october remember that pag hindi ka makatulog wala kang makausap ayaw mo yung makausap mo kailangan mo magpagpag <laughs> Bukas ang Dicap Coffee Republic. Come on now. Come on. We will keep the city alive. Not in a destructive way, but really in a constructive and self-nurturing way. I believe that's something beautiful. Alright, number three. Put it in your brain. Brain, recognize that change is always for improvement. Lagay mo yun talaga sa brain mo, kapatid. Change will benefit you. Do not assume that the need for change is negative. And really, really, put it, believe it, accept it. Change is always for improvement. Okay, so meron ka ng feedback? Open ka na ngayon to change? Anong kasunod ng change? Action. Galing. Okay, so let's dive into the third action. Now, action. Ibig sabihin nun, gagalaw ka. Ibig sabihin nun, may gagawin ka. Ibig sabihin nun, madidiscomfort ka. O, sabihin mo na sa sarili mo, friend, self, ang ibig sabihin nito, discomfort. Pagpagin mo na. Oh, eto na to. Gagalaw tayo. Okay. On number three, let's dive in. When you talk about action, I want you to really pay close attention, okay, on three things. We're talking about actions. Three things. Okay? Learnings from the past. Learnings, ha? Hindi yung sinisi mo yung sarili mo. Ang tanga-tanga ko kasi. Mali na naman ako. Hindi na ako natuto. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about key learnings from the past. So yung mga tinatamaan, hawakan lang yung mga puso nyo. Have courage. Dear. Have courage. Kaya natin to. Learn from the past. Learnings from the past. Right in there. Right in there. Be re... Okay. Okay na. Solve na tayo. Feedback. Change. Take action. So, you take action. Take all your learnings from the past. 
Okay? Ito yan. Most of the time, he, listen up, where your learnings from the past deceives you. I'm talking about deception. Learn from the past. Yung learning mo, may, 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 may verdict ka agad. Dahil yung boss ko asolik, hindi na ako magpatara sa susunod kong boss. Sabi lang learning, may verdict ka agad. No, ilan dyan ang guilty as charge? Yung dati kong kasama sa negosyo, best friend ko yun eh, kaibigan ko, niloko ko. Therefore, bawal nang makipagnegosyo sa kaibigan. At kung may negosyo ka naman ngayon, huwag tayo maging friends ha, magkakasira tayo. Sino gusto mong kanegosyo, kaaway? Hindi ko talaga maabot yan. I would rather keep trusting and building friendship than lose the chance of having a beautiful relationship because somebody left me. Yeah. I mean, why penalize the people who loves you for those people who left you? There's a lot of people around who wants to love you, but because somebody left you, lahat ng buong buhay mo na, dinedikit mo sa taong di ka na nga pinapansin. I'm not talking about romantic relationship. I'm even talking of whatever relationship you have. Kayo talaga makaromantic agad di. <laughs> be it friendship, be it relationship with church members, be it relationship in business. I mean, remember this. Do not be limited by what happened in the past. Take the learnings. But let not the past dictate how you will treat the people who are there right now beside you wanting to offer you real, authentic, and genuine friendship. Take it. Eh, paano kung mali ulit? Eh, di ulitin mo ulit. Eh, di mali. At least you took the chance. Eh, paano kung tama na? Kung mali at mali at mali at mali, eh di malamang mali ka. Kaya isipin mo kung bakit ka laging mali. I mean, it's really true. Part of introspection. Ano ibig sabihin ng mali? Why do you land always in the wrong place with the wrong people, with the wrong motives, with the wrong intention, and with the wrong plans in life? Hmm. Lunok. Number two. When you learn from the past, Recognize now the opportunities. The only test that you are learning from the past is if you can recognize the opportunities. Mm. Many people go it the other way. I learned from the past, so no more of this. Vindication, verdict, revenge. Tama? No, 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 no. The real test, okay, in a context of social intelligence, the only test, the best test to know that you have learned from the past, if after learning from the past, you can now recognize opportunities. Am I making sense? Yes? Oh, my social intelligence as a coach can be then. <laughs> And of course, on number three, okay, to seal the action steps that you want to do to improve on your social intelligence is this. This is beautiful. Recreate the experience. Uh -uh. Because you learn, you recognize opportunities, definitely you can recreate the experience. Oh, Coach Eche, sa, sa bala, I miss you. Grabe, nasa ICU na ako sa dami ng tama sa akin. <laughs> Yan kasi, alam mo, Coach Eche, mabuti pag nandito ka. Kasi pagkatapos ng ICU, nandito agad ang recovery. Ah, dito ka kasi. Miss you, Coach. Ah. May nagaganap po ba? Yes, Coach? You know, this is really beautiful if you can start implementing and doing and taking actions in your, in your life. You remember the past, the past that haunts you, the past that slaves you, the past that hurts you still. Tama ba? We look at the past, learn from it. 
recognize your opportunities today and recreate the experience. When you're able to do this, life will not just be so much better, but life will unfold with a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful person of which it is created to be. Life can only be beautiful if the person living it can see the beauty. The very reason life is not beautiful is because you cannot see the beauty in life. And the very reason why you cannot see the beauty in life is because you allowed yourself to have all the lenses of pain. Hi, Max! Okay. If you look at things through the lens of pain, through the lens of hurt, through the lens of betrayal, to the lens of all the people and all the things that came into your life unexpectedly bringing you pain, then you'll never see how beautiful life is. Life is beautiful because to begin with, you were created beautifully. Maganda ka kapatid. Yeah. Beyond the physical look, beyond the beauty of your finances, beyond the beauty of the relationship, I know that life is beautiful because you were created beautifully. Take off the lenses of pain. Take off the lenses of hatred, bitterness, offense. Live life beautifully because to begin with, you are a beautiful person. You are a beautiful creation. Therefore, you can look at the past beautifully. You can live the present beautifully. And you can recreate all the experiences beautifully. And for you to say, life is beautiful. Good night, everyone. This is Coach A. Good night. Happy birthday to all the celebrants.